the Articles of Confederation. You know, after the Revolutionary War, America was still new, still developing, still deciding what it was, and you know, it went through an awkward phase, very normal stuff. And this phase is known as the Articles of Confederation. The Articles of Confederation is the first official government of the United States from 1781 to 1789. So the Articles was the official government during the last two years of the Revolutionary War. Before this, it was really the Second Continental Congress acting as an informal government, although it was still representative. Now don't confuse the Articles of Confederation with the Confederacy that tried to break away from the United States during the Civil War. The Civil War was in the 1860s, we're talking about the 1780s. We're talking about 1780s America, where there's 13 states. Now a confederal government is a system in which sovereign states delegate power to the central government for specific purposes. So the states are telling the central government what to do. The most important thing to know about the Articles of Confederation is that it was extremely... Weak! Weak sauce. It was weak. Hey, look, on the right, it's the Articles of Confederation. Weak sauce, you are. Yeah. Say what again? I dare you. I double dare you. I'm sorry, Julius. It won't happen again. Um, so the important thing to know about the Articles of Confederation is that it was. wimpy. Yeah, it was very wimpy. Under the Articles, there was only one House of Congress where each state got one vote. It took nine out of the 13 states to pass a law. It took 13 of the 13 states to pass an amendment. There were no executive or judicial branches. But the most important of all the wimpy causing issue with the Articles of Confederation is... <laughs> And the states would be all like, oh, bro, sorry, I can't help you out, I don't have any money. The national government also had to ask for the states to provide troops, they didn't have their own. So the national government of the United States had no money, it had no power. Oh my gosh, it's, it's me! Shay's Rebellion. A series of violent attacks on courthouses and other government properties because the banks were closing down these farms of these ex-Confederate soldiers. The government should be able to squash a rebellion to keep the public safe and to maintain order. Epic fail. George Washington had to come out of retirement with a volunteer army to put down the rebellion. Apparently, most people thought the Articles of Confederation was pretty horrible. Oh no, what have I done? Look how sad he is. I'm sorry, Articles. Don't feel bad. You know what? I heard a positive thing about you once. You set up a strong, terrific post office. Yeah, there was like trails, and the mail got there quick and efficiently, and it became our future roads. Good job, Articles Confederation. You did something. All right, there you have it. Articles Confederation took a swing, hit the ball. Unfortunately, it was a foul ball, so, you know... That's not good in sports. So, all right, here we go. That is the end of the video. Have a great day. Talk to you later.